can't get enough If I can make it If I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could can't get enough If I can make it If I try to draw the red light deal big deal everybody let's get this going let's get this going how's everyone doing i i tell you what missing monday missing wednesday missing thursday and now finally friday i'm all i can say is that we're finally here we're ready to stream let's let's do it who's in the chat crits gaming cj all arounder uh the mobile gamer fake dd33 dalton m brother jude Adonis Dudley, Kroger74, SM, CJ. He liked the sound of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll I'll hopefully make some videos of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 so you can uh, decide whether you want that as well. I you know before before you all came here, I was just chillaxing in my trophy lodge. You know how it is. Uh, you, you know how at, in Fishing Planet you chill out in your uh, trophy lodge sometimes just kind of admiring all of your big fish that you've ever caught? Oh, that's right. We don't have a trophy lodge in Fishing Planet. Oh, oh well. Well, at least we have one in Ultimate Fishing. It's just some of my, some of my catches, you know, not, you know, a big time angler like myself. I got a, oh, here's a Mai I, I caught today. Yeah, good, cool, cool, cool. Got some ocean fish here. Tuna, which we're going to be seeing more of here in the future. Got a uh, sailfish on the opposite side here. Ooh, ooh, and then some groupers, more grouper up there. So today, clap into the microphone. We're going to be catching some ocean fish. It's going to be a fun time. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it anyway. I hope you all enjoy it too. The old Trevally here, another fish we don't have fishing planet. Uh, yeah, so I think we should just stop talking about it and get into it. We're gonna go to, obviously that's Pinus Bay. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but that's that's how we're we'll keep it uh, PG here. Howdy, Bell. Let's get some unicorns. Cole Stark. He says I agree. Yeah, we got some unicorns in our future. I sure hope this game streams well. It's gonna be super embarrassing if it's like. Uh, 
Uh, I don't, if it runs like horribly or something like that. So, uh, you know what? If it runs horribly, we'll just switch to Fishing Planet. So that's fine. I'm sure people wouldn't be mad about that. Let's, uh, let's find some big fish here. See, you got the, you got the radar, uh, going around us right now. It's showing us where all the big fish are at the moment. Um, I have been using... This is my, this is my, my big rod right here. Uh, 90.4 pound Dakino MAV. And then I got the Dakino MB, uh, H3 on there as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know how it is. You know how it is. Uh, throwing out some fresh bait. I haven't done this yet, so this should be interesting. I have some, uh, slightly larger, uh, slightly larger line on as well. And I did, I, I figured out, I figured out one thing, and that is that, uh, ADOT works for Mai Mai, Trevally, and Tuna here. Um, 9 knot works for sailfish, and then if you want to catch the marlin, you move up to 10 knot. Though I did find out today that, uh, for the most part, before I hit level 14, I was not prepared to take on a marlin. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this should be alright. Server issues on Fishing Planet? Well, it's a good deal we, uh, we didn't do Fishing Planet today, I guess. First live stream you're catching and you're excited, gamer says. Hey, right on, man. Well, glad you're here. Steam version, Steam version. How you doing, Bo Mo Gamer? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking. Appreciate it. Ooh, look at this dude. Wow, he just straight up took that guy. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Give me a second, everyone. Got to get my. Uh... There we go. Sorry, having difficulties right now. Hold on for a moment. Hold on for a moment. Didn't realize that this was going to be a big deal until now. Here we go. We're good now. All right. So, sailfish on, though. That is the point. I'll be interested to see if we can pull on the, uh, the 71 drag will be the kicker here. There we go. Ooh, 86 drag, too. Right on. Whee! That was too much. Oh, no! You pain in the neck. I thought we had him. We had him, uh, all, uh, all freaking tensed up there, and he was doing just fine. All right, well, we'll get another one, I guess. That was, uh, that was pretty cool that he came out of nowhere and just grabbed that bait. That was pretty sweet. Unfortunately, I just wasn't paying attention. Goodness gracious. What's your favorite game to play instead of this one? Instead of this one, pfft, Fishing Planet, I suppose. Fishing Planet, The Hunter Call of the Wild, I love both of them. What do you play on? I play on PC, of course, as most streamers do. It's easier to stream and, and do editing and all that sort of stuff if you have a PC. Otherwise, you gotta take your Xbox or your PlayStation recordings, move it to your computer, and then do stuff there. It's just it's just a pain. So most if it, most people, if not, yeah, I won't say all, but I'd say most most streamers and, and video makers and stuff, they're gonna be doing it on on PC or something. It was junk, and the freebie one was way better. Or am I wrong? Oh, I am not sure. I mean, I don't- I didn't know that there was a freebie one, I guess. You might be thinking of, uh, Fishing Planet, and that the paid version of Fishing Planet is junk, and the free one is better. There's no free version of Ultimate Fishing. Uh, but, it's been out for so long now that it probably is... a lot cheaper than it- than it was to begin with. Oh, 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 okay. Didn't like that. Really need to get it, if we can, need to get it to uh, 86 drag. He is just taking line out right now. So we're just trying to tucker him out at the moment.
Which do you all like better? Do you like the uh, the rod view or the uh, fish view? So we've got about 820 feet, 820 yards. I'm not really sure if it's yards or feet. But we got about 820, and right now we're about 650. So it is, uh, it is pretty big deal that we get him tired because we're at 700 now so we only have us only have a hundred feet to go now yeah we literally have a hundred feet to go now is he tired now <gasps> we got him tired we got him tired boys all right now we just need to make sure we reel him in without uh breaking the line essentially It's, uh, it's really easy to break your line. Otherwise, I would totally look up at the comments and read comments as I'm reeling in. You don't really have to worry about the line breaking in Fishing Planet. So, I mean, I'm able to read the chat a lot faster. You know, I can just hold on to hold the tension, essentially, and, uh, and read the chat as we go. But this time around, a little bit different. 450 now. Bringing him in. Oh, we should have been spe speeding it up here. My bad. We were only reeling in medium speed. All right, we're under 300 now. Big fish, definitely big fish, man. Look at this dude. Big old sailfish. I was really worried that he was going to break off, too, so I'm glad he didn't. Laura Smith with the sub. Thank you so much, Laura. I'm kind of worried he's going to have a second wind here. Hoping not, though. We, 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 we got him. We got him. Let's go. 74.4 pounds on this guy. That's why I like. I wish they had a better trophy screen, you know, when you get them in and then you can kind of take a look at them and stuff like that. That would really be ideal, I feel. Uh, or a character holding it or something like that. I think it would be sweet. Very normal. Nice antlers in the background. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. What is the biggest fish you have ever caught in real life? I have, I have a thing about that. Here, let's see if I can get it. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I messed something up here. There we go. Let's see here. Ba, ba, ba. Try that. My understanding that Ultimate Fishing Planet is paid and Fishing Planet is free. Ultimate Fishing is an entirely different game than Fishing Planet. So, the, the Fisherman Fishing Planet is a paid game where you have to pay for it and you play. So, that's, that's the Fisherman Fishing Planet. Versus just Fishing Planet is a free-to-play game. Um, this is Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Entirely different game. Nothing related to Fishing Planet. Um, did it pop up? There we go. Got it up. Have you done a review of The Fisherman? Uh, no. It's basically Fishing Planet. And I don't want to buy The Fisherman because it's like $30. And it's the same game, essentially. I have considered getting it just to, like, do a, a new beginner series uh, without having to make a second account on Fishing Planet, I guess. What's this about? Who's who's throwing money at us now? Gamers throwing money. Goodness gracious, gamers. Probably because you're currently updating another game. Understandable. What's this about? Hey, Bo, I've been watching your vids for a while, and I wanted to give back to you and say thanks for making amazing content. Well, thank you so much, gamers. Goodness gracious. I'm, I keep waiting for the, the thing to pop up. There it goes. Goodness gracious. <laughs> XX Gamers with the, the dono. Appreciate it, man. That's awesome. God, it took long enough to pop up. You're watching. You're watching. Good deal. Do you still play Fishing Planet? Absolutely. We're going to be playing Fishing Planet tomorrow in the afternoon for our Saturday stream. Didn't uh, didn't mean to do that, but that's what's going on now. So, hello, BZ Andre. How's it going, Danael? Danael, am I saying that right? Hello, 
Worth the buy? Hey, if you want a new fishing game to try out and just mess around with, sure. It's, it's worth $1.81, I, I would say. Connection's fine now, good deal. Adonis, hey, hi, how are you? Fisherman went, it came out, was better, had a better economy XP, but they stopped working on it now. It sucks, yeah, well, yeah. I don't really have anything to add. Okay, so one thing I am curious about is uh, since we got to level 14, I'm hoping we got new lures. We're gonna find out here. We might not. Yes, we did. And it goes up to ADOT too, which is gonna be fantastic. Nope, that's a level 17. Darn it all. What about the hard lures? Do we get any uh, higher level hard lures? That one's level 14. That one works for Marlin as well. Okay. I might just buy it to give it a shot. Do we have any new flies? I still don't have my fly rod set up, but I will at some point. <laughs> I haven't even tried a fly rod, honestly. But it's up there. It's one of the things I really want to do. All right, so I need a 15 to get a new spinner. What about new spoons? I think I got the best spoon. Oh, here's the best spoon here. Now let's get that too. So one thing, I really want to uh, give the um, give this whole thing another try here. Let's equip this, equip that. We should be able to get mahi with this squid and uh, and tuna and whatnot. So let's try figure out where they are. Got a bunch of fish behind us right now. So, toss that lure out there and give it give it a little go here. I have I'm yet to catch one of these ocean fish on a lure, so I'm kind of excited about it. So this is our squid. Just doing a straight retrieve since that's really the only retrieve I know how to do in this game. The fisherman is a rip off its money, unless I agree. <laughs> Jacob, how's it going, Jacob? What's your PR of ca Oh, look at this guy. Look at this Trevally. Come on, Trevally. Swim faster, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> Giant Trevally on. How about that? I feel like Cavi fishing there. That was so funny watching him go after it. All right, all right, all right. Big fish on, big fish on. He's trying to pull more line out, that's for sure. There it goes. Still don't have line that's strong enough to, uh, to get that drag up to 86, but that's all right. What's my PB of a catfish in real life? Uh, I think I got close to a 15 pound channel cat, but I honestly haven't done anything more than that. That's one of my big, my big goals this year is to get into some big catfish. I have, I have a guide here in Kansas City that's going to take me out a few times this year too, so I am excited about it. You're reminding me and getting me more excited just thinking about it. All right, reeling in our Trevally now. As long as we don't break the line. Need to continue paying attention to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. I swear to God, I'm gonna look up at the chat once I reel this guy. <laughs> I, I, the moment I take my eyes off it, today I was reeling in a fish in this game and, uh, and I saw a Facebook post and I clicked on it on my phone and it brought up Facebook and I looked back up at the game and the line broke. That's how, that's how quickly things went south and he broke off the line. Okay, come on. There's another Trevally there. We've just found a whole school of Trevally. All right, I'm looking up. This game more, is this game more difficult than Fishing Planet? No, I don't think so. But it's got some different fish that you couldn't, can't catch in Fishing Planet. So in a way, it's kind of fun. Make a video about the North Atlantic game. Uh, we did. A while back for uh, gaming month, so go check that out. Since I've been to the stream, so happy to be back. Absolutely love your content. Lucas will appreciate it, man. That's awesome. This little Trevally here. I feel like that's a... Uh, uh, 
counterintuitive. Is that is that the word? Little Trevally. He's a little giant Trevally, is what he is. Okay, let's reel this guy in here. What? Megan is here. Only for a little, though. How are your besties doing? Well, if you're talking about us, we're doing quite well. But I, I, if you're not talking about us, then I, you know, you're just gonna have to be more specific. I don't know who you're talking. About. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm missing the chat now. I just don't want to miss this Travali. Come on, Travali. I'm pretty excited that we got our first fish on a lure out here in the ocean. I just unlocked that lure at level 14, so. All right. I net our fish here. And it's a new record! 72 pounds! Top notch! I'll hide my, uh, hide my camera here so you can see the full fish. There we go. Top notch, everybody. That's a giant. Well, Todd, let's see here. Chief's edits on Back Remember Me Out is Art 101. Art 101. Well, uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Fisherman fishing plan is good for folks who want a quick way through fishing plan. allows people to go to different places quicker. The only downside, no longer updated, level 50 max. Yeah, so, I don't, yeah, I get, yeah, I don't, yeah. Well, sure, sounds like you got to figure it out, man, yep. Yeah. Cat, you have a catfish bait suggestion. Oh, do you? CJ says, hey, I'm out on a fishing planet and I'm carp fishing first unicorn mirror. Well, right on. That's awesome. Like a cool game, though. Next time you play fishing planet, you should go for uni walleye. I've added you on fishing planet. Right on. Well, I'll have to look for that. TTV Jacob Ninja 03. Cut up fish and soak it in chicken blood for about an hour or more. They love it. You know, I just have so much chicken blood laying around. I'll have to, uh, yeah, next time I cut up some fish, I'll make sure to soak it. That'll be great. Have you seen the new update coming out for Fishing Planet? Yeah. Uh, yes. I've been chatting with Fishing Planet on their forum, trying to get it before it comes out. Uh, they're just being really annoying about it. So if you have way too much time on your hands, everyone join the Fishing Planet forum and just send messages on every single thing to every moderator you see on the forum to send uh, send all future maps and stuff to BZ Hub. Eventually, maybe they'll get tired of everyone messaging them and just give it to me without you know telling me about it. <laughs> that would sure make things a lot easier. Hi, K made it right on. Good deal. Glad you're here. Amanda's here as well. G'day. G'day, BZ. G'day, g'day. How much does Ultimate Fishing Simulator cost? Someone just looked it up on uh, G2A. It was like $1.80 or something like that. So a pretty dang close. I will say, though, that um, there are DLCs for the game. Um, so I'll show you here. This uh, encyclopedia kind of shows it. So these are all the fish that are in the base game that you buy for $1.80. So you're looking at... Uh, largemouth, you're looking at brown trout, different trout species, um, going down, going down, channel catfish, mirror carp, there are some different carp species in the game, pike, uh, pakal sturgeon, because there's like a Russian lake there, xander, barbel, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that, hutchin, uh, they have Mai Mai, the greater uh, amberjack, rainbow runner, uh, roosterfish, and then you get into like the black marlin, the white marlin, and the blue marlin, or the striped marlin and the blue marlin. Uh, those are kind of like the boss fish of the game. Then they added in different DLC. So they added in Moraine Lake, which is just a real small lake, I think. Is this the one they specifically added in with the fly fishing rods? Maybe. Can't recall. Then they added in uh, an African DLC. So they got, oh my freaking. Scrolly wheel isn't working, but they got different African fish in here, which is kind of cool. Different cool little African fish. Then they had the Greenland DLC, and they actually have a Greenland shark in the game that you can catch, which is pretty sweet. Uh, they have a goblin shark too. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to show any of this off because I haven't made a video of it. Uh, they got halibut, two different types of halibut. Uh, Atlantic wolf fish, interesting. But yeah, they got lots of different stuff there. 
Uh, they got the Amazon River. For some reason, there's an alligator gar in the Amazon, but other than that, they have the regular Amazon fish, arowana, uh, electric. Oh, they have an electric eel. That one, oh, I guess they have that in fishing line too. Uh, Payara, Kuma Kuma, which is the Piraiba, I believe. Yeah, Piraiba. Um, red tail catfish, tiger sorghum, you know, what we have in Fishing Planet, essentially. They do have a Japan DLC, which is kind of interesting. Have you unlocked Congo River? No, I haven't. Exotic lemon lover, hi. How are ya? Uh, you good, William? How I? Oof, dinner is ready. Say, take care, Megan. We'll see you next time. Fly fishing in Fishing Planet? Uh, no, but there is fly fishing in Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Uh, so Japan DLC, they have Koi, which is interesting. Um, we got some snakehead, sockeye salmon, I guess. Uh, Wells catfish as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, Thailand, which is what we were just playing a while back in the uh, video because we were fishing for those grouper, which are pretty cool, which we can go fish for some grouper here in a bit too. Um, yeah, giant grouper, houndfish. They have black tip reef shark, but I'm yet to find one. Uh, great barracuda. And then, uh, then they just added a bunch of new fish just for the heck of it, which included the elephant tuna and the sailfish, uh, which is kind of cool. Flyhead catfish too, which I haven't caught, but yeah, some pretty cool fish, but that kind of gives you an idea, like there is a base game of Ultimate Fishing and then lots of DLCs, but they should all be very cheap as well. I think I got the entire game for less than 20 bucks uh, with all the DLCs and everything, so I don't know, check it out. And if anything, maybe there's going to be a sale at some point, so yeah, we'll just see. Bastion High. How are you? Can we see the Trophy Lodge? Oh, we, we started out the stream in the Trophy Lodge, unfortunately. So we just got out of the Trophy Lodge. Let's throw this out there, see if we can... There was a sailfish swimming over there, so we'll see if we can get him in. See if we can entice him. Get this straight retrieve on this squid lure. I think the squid lures are so cool. I worked on one when I was, uh, back when I was doing prototyping. Uh, with industrial design. I worked on a lure, a squid lure. Mm. For a ship boat captain. Ship, a ship boat captain, that's how you say that, for sure. Not bad, thank you, can't, uh, Carly, can, how's it going, Carly? Priv? Best of luck with your studying exams. No fish on that little throw there. Oh, I thought there was a fish chasing it at the end there. All right, well, let's get back up on top so we can see where the fish are. Looks like they are straight back. Ooh, there's a marlin way out. You can tell by the size of the circle what type of fish they are. So if you want to kind of chase after the big, big circles, then you certainly can. It's just kind of how it's done, I guess. Like, let's do this and let's toss out yonder. Hopefully bring in a fish. We'll try this a few more times and if, if it works out, then that's great. And if not, then we'll switch back to the bait, the live bait, bringing them in. What the update for Fishing Planet? It's a, it's a new fishing area, new river. It's going to be tame in there. It's up in Mongolia, I believe. It's the Kata Stringers, glad to be back, love the style of content. Lucas, well appreciate it, man, that's awesome. Really, that's, uh, yeah, always love seeing people. When are we gonna make a new fishing plan a bit? Mmm, soon-ish. I mean, I mean, technically, we're gonna have a live stream tomorrow, which becomes a vid. So we make uh, we make videos all the time. They're usually just live streams. Is the problem? Um, I really just don't have too many new things to talk about. If you have any ideas, something that I haven't covered already, let me know. You know, because I'd love you know if you if you haven't experienced something, then uh, you know possibly there's other people that haven't experienced it either. So, you know, I can, I can give it a shot. And getting back into fishing plant. Was that a Mahi there? Come on, Mahi. Come get it. Come get the squid. What a stinking fish. 
bring in your old FP videos. Well, right on. I, I don't believe I mentioned anything about loving exotic lemons in the past in the videos, if that's what you were uh, making reference to, but, but yeah. Pretty sweet. Is that game free? No. That's what we've been talking about for the past half hour or so. <laughs> it's not free. It's very cheap though, because it is, it is, uh, ooh, there's a tuna right there. Come on, tuna. Come get this squid. You know you want to. Well, there's a Mai underneath too. Okay, someone's gotta get this squid. Someone's gotta grab this squid. Don't fight for it all at once. There we go. Tightening up the drag there. Got a yellowfin tuna on. Still taking a little bit of line out. Your grandma passed by this weekend. Oh no, that's terrible, Carly. A unique walleye and trout adventure. We have a we have a video like that. It's called uh, the brown trout video, I believe. Tiger trout, tiger trout video. There is a Saint Croix video with a tiger trout in the thumbnail. I believe we catch both of those there. No love for you. Well, what the heck? Where's the where's the love? But you know what you need. You need a lemon. That's where the love's gonna be. Did I catch the fighter shark? Well, any any avid fan of the BZ Hub knows that we only catch the monster fish and fishing planet on Halloween. So I mean, if it's a new fish, you know, new monster fish for the 2022, then you're just gonna have to wait till Halloween because uh, that's the only time we fish for those. It feels weird catching monsters other times of the year, you know? We don't dress up as monsters uh, during other times of the year. I guess if you're into, like, cosplay or something like that, maybe. Taking back my words now, but... Come on, fish. Got a tuna on right now. Not sure how big it is, but we did get it on the squid. Increase the real speed here. Oh, that's good, Carly. Never got a unique walleye. We we got one in a live stream though. I know we did. This tuna is going crazy. It truly is. Truly tuna. I'm like keeping my eyes open as I'm reeling this fish in. So I feel like there's going to be other fish at the same time somewhere. Don't, no, don't be stupid. He's pulling line out again. What a freaking dude. We almost got him in. You know, this is just the sign that is a good sized tuna. I feel like all the good sized tuna end up having a second wind and pulling you out even more. I agree. Mm. So today I hooked up two different marlin. Unfortunately, they completely took out all of my line and broke me off, unfortunately. Uh, but we can certainly give it another shot today. I'm, 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 I have a slightly stronger line now. So I'm game if you all are. If you all want to see if we can fight a marlin, then I'm I'm game too. We can give it a go. All right. Classo or Clayso Classo? Uh yes, I do. Uh and I don't understand why. But it's very annoying. 
<laughs> it'll give me, uh, when I put tags on my video, it'll give me recommendations all the time. And all of the recommendations will be BizHub. It'll be BizHub Fishing Planet, BizHub, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm not BizHub. Why do you keep doing this? Look at this big old guy. That's what I'm talking about. This is a big one. There we go. 156 pound yellowfin tuna. That'll work, dude. That's a good one. Can't do much better than that. All right. Is it time? Is it time to go after uh, a marlin or something like that? Maybe we should go find a marlin. Let's throw on the uh, throw on the old bobber here. I don't think we're gonna be able to catch the marlin. Is the problem? But I'm, I'm, you know, if you are all okay with it, then we'll give it a shot. By George. So let's throw on the big hooks. We'll throw on the big baits. Where are you? Where are you? I guess we could try live bait too, which I haven't tried yet. Got the 10 knot hook on. We got the live bait. Should be good to go. Now we just need to find a marlin. Get in the old boat here. And we're gonna look for a big green dot on our radar. That is where the marlin is gonna be. We're gonna look for the biggest green dot we can find up above my head here. Somebody at YouTube headquarters is trying. I agree. I think someone on the inside is saying, oh, I hate this BZ Hub guy. We're gonna mess with him. Ooh, that was a big one. I think we might have a marlin here, everyone. Hold on to your butts. As the great Samuel L. Jackson said. All right, he's out here somewhere. Oh, it's a sailfish. It's a very big sailfish. Well, that's not what I ex uh, that's not what I pictured at all. But maybe he'll come and grab this. In which case, uh, the last sailfish only took us out to like 780 feet, like 50 feet short of breaking us. So uh, I'm feeling very confident about this. <laughs> Didn't see the catfish. Up, I will watch that after the stream. Hey, sounds good. YouTube does it literally no one else. I know, right? You don't see uh, you know, DD33 or something like, oh, don't you mean DB33? Like, you don't see it with anyone else. You think uh, Flinter deals with like, uh, don't you mean Flantro? Like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a common occurrence. I, I don't think so. I think they're only with me. They're like, ooey, look at this dude. Oh, I think you're special, huh? With your big old freaking dorsal. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take down the, that's what I do. I take the drag down and then I raise my rod up to make as much, much tension as possible. And like we did before, we're just gonna kind of Take it to 86 every so often to really uh, tucker him out. He is just taking us for a ride, though. You ready for my reel to catch fire? I agree. We're gonna have to be th throwing water on it. We're gonna douse in the reel with fire. It's gonna catch. Close to 95, that's some serious longevity. Work with, uh, she's gone. Very true. 95. My, uh, my great grandmother is getting up there. The one that was in the uh, fishing video. If you haven't seen that one, that was a pretty good one. I think it's on the Modern Day Outdoorsman channel, though. I don't think it's on the BDO. New Jurassic World movie in one week. Who is ready? I am very ready. Um, I, I have uh, low expectations, I should say. Okay, we need to stop. He's gonna break off. Ah, too strong. He's too strong. I don't think we're ready, everybody. Let's go down to a nine on. Maybe that'll help. 
Maybe that'll help get a smaller fish or something. Another pretty good sized dot out here. Coming towards the boat. Did he literally just go under the boat? He's gonna toss it right here. We'll see. Oh my god, he just showed up right underneath it. <laughs> Oh, he just turned around. Oh, he's coming for it. Or not. We will see. Got spooled. Got spooled. You're new. You really like your videos. Hey, we'll ride on sincerely. Appreciate it. Well, glad you're here. Glad you made it. We got a little uh, bait fish on a hook right now. I, uh, I went fishing today. I went fishing for bass for two hours. Never saw, never never got a nibble of a bass the entire time. But I went to a, a new area trying to find out if it was a good spot to uh, fish for bass or not. And uh, I found schools, like literal schools of gizzard shad. They were everywhere. So uh, I figured... Um, Oh god, come on. Figured to be a great spot to go back and uh, get some for uh, cut bait. And so I say that because... Uh, because I can't remember now. So, you know. John Gallagher's been... Love the vids. Been almost a year since you started watching. Well, been loving every bit of it. That's for sure. I think this dude's just gonna break us off as well. We'll find out though. I'm trying, man. He's taking us out to 500. These sailfish, they just, they just don't care about your feelings or something. What's the deal? All I want is a caring fish. Is that so much to ask? Dakota Salmon, hi. Can you get a stronger setup soon? Unfortunately, not really. The next line that I can buy is at level 17. So we're a ways away from upgrading. I swear he's taking out line even faster now that I've put it up to 86. Come on, man. Give up. We only got 20 more feet. Ah! Nom! Okay, well... We're just, uh, really nailing these really big fish, I guess. Jeez Louise. By nailing them, I mean that we're hooking them. We're just not able to bring them in. They're just so big. <laughs> um... I'm not really sure what to do, honestly. I guess we can go down to an ADOT. Ugh. Try that out. Or we can just go back to the squid and start uh, throwing the squid around again. Or we can just uh, ditch this entirely and go uh, fish for grouper. What do you all think? It sounds fun to you all. Compared to the video with great grandma. Oh, thank you, Carly. The sea streams are super chill compared to the streams I usually watch where it's severe weather coverage and the whole thing is a matter of life and death. Some goodness. What sort of, what sort of streams are you watching? Those sound ex those sound like extreme stream. Look at this dude. Little Amberjack here. What do the uh I need to check something real quick. Do the uh did the Amberjack go for this? Let's make sure that the Amberjack like whatever this is. Then we'll throw it out there. Not seeing Amberjack listed here. What about for leeches? No. Okay. Amberjack? No. Come on. What do Amberjack like then? Pennant fish, dragonflies. Not seeing anything. 
Are they listed up here? My god, what what did the amberjack eat anything? What about this? Amberjack! Okay. Let's throw this on. This might be too large of a hook. We're gonna find out, I guess. This amberjack comes back and grabs it. It'll be my first amberjack. He just completely went over there, though. So, no telling if he'll come back or not. Oh, there's another fish. What's your biggest fish in real life? Well, we just had that posted just a little bit ago. It's, uh, it's not super huge. I, I am working. I, I have plans to make it bigger, okay? Give me time. Give me time. Have I, knew, have I watched the new Stranger? We actually finished the last episode of the new season um, this morning. Are you kidding me? Another sailfish. This one I'm going to bring in by George. Oh, barky dogs. Taking us out to 200 now. Gooper. Go Gooper. Oh no. Seven this I went fishing and caught a one 10 ounce bluegill and two six ounce bass. Sad, slow, bit. Iowa water table is low, cold. Well, shoot. Amberjack are plants. Photosynthesize. <laughs> they don't they don't eat food. This guy seems smaller. But he's still pulling out line like it's going out of style. You giving up now? I think we got him. Tucking him out. I'm guessing he's below 50 pounds. He looks pretty small. We got him though. We got him coming in. Kobe Whittison. Oh, bro, you know me. I remember everybody. I got 28,000 people's names in my head. They're all stored in here, bro. I got them all. All right. So you gonna have me net him or? What? There we go. Oh wow, 66 pounds. This is the first sailfish I've actually held with my hand. So this is a new one. <laughs> well, right on. Got our first uh, sailfish like this anyway. I'll, I'll remove the camera so you can see him easier. Stefan Diggs, how's it going, man? What's up, your boy? Bang, bro, I had to change my name. A lot of people looking for, oh really? Oh, okay. Well, we don't want them to find you. Reeling in a massive uni now perch could be a new PB. Ooh, very nice. It could be pretty, could be pretty sweet then. Yeah, pretty chill sailfish. I agree. This is a pretty chill sailfish. The chillest one I've found so far, anyway. Though I have to say, I haven't, I haven't found too many of them to ask them how chill they are. All right, top notch. Should we uh, change it up? Should we go back to the squid? I was having fun with the squid. Or, actually, let's do something different entirely. Let's go find some grouper. I, I think the grouper are pretty fun. They're just really big fish, and they're, uh... Yeah, they're just, just kind of fun to watch. Honestly. What's going on here? Oh, we need to put our, uh... need to put on our bobber first. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we can equip this. Baits. For some reason, they only like small cut bait. 
I don't know why. Giant grouper only wants small cut bait. That makes a lot of sense. Um, one thing I also want to do, since we're working on this right now, let's uh, get... I was going to buy this uh, fly reel here. Of 14. Equip that on there. Let's see if we can buy line. Then we can go out sink tip or floating tip is the question. We can't buy either of them, but that is the that is one of the questions. So once we uh, once we get some fish, we'll be able to uh, switch it up and uh, use some flies to catch something. Is there any flies that uh, go for like a barracuda? That would be fun to catch on a fly. Rooster fish. Do 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 greater amberjack. Do 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 do. Man, there's a lot of fish on there. Greater barracuda. Okay. Well, let's get this fly. What about this one? So many names listed. Right on, we'll buy this one too. All right, now we just need some line. <laughs> just, you know, oh, that whole line thing. Psh. Then we'll uh, we'll try fly fishing for the first time because I've never tried it in this game yet, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, let's go grab some, uh, let's go grab some, some grouper. Someone did say they wanted to see the trophy lodge real quick, so I think we'll, we'll get into here real quick. This is the old, the old fishing, fishing lodge. Got the Mai up there, Sturgeon. Got some uh, giant rainbow over there. Then I got a, bra a bull, I believe, bull trout and cutthroat. Yep, 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 yep. Groupers up there, big old giant, uh, giant you know, Goliath grouper. There's our uh, sailfish and tuna. There's an African catfish that we caught one time. Tigerfish over here. Rah, 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 rah. Scary tigerfish. And got some, we can go upstairs, check these guys out. It's a little, is that threadfish? I was about to call it a triggerfish. Threadfish there, another Malabar grouper, which we're gonna go after here in a few minutes. And a gray barracuda right there, which we're gonna kinda try to catch on a fly once we uh, catch one of the, one of the grouper. So here we go. <laughs> Cut baits in this game look like little cookies. I agree. Couldn't agree more. Look like a little piece of Play-Doh or something. Can you try Bassmaster 2022? Oh, bro. We're, we're the best Bassmaster 2022 content creator out there. Proven. We, we were in a tournament and everything. We beat everyone. What's a good lure for St. Croix? Mmm. Um... Jerk bait, tiger. Uh, there's like a, it's like a yellow with black stripes or something like that. Jerk bait. Six six hot hook, I think. I'm not sure. Made it, but won't be here for long. It was only a trophy. It was only a trophy. Well, what the heck? What kind of game are you playing? All right, let's go here. Let's where are you? There we go. Thailand. Let's go catch us a grouper. You'll watch later though. Sounds good. Two eighty eight. Whatever you can do, man, not a big deal. You like crankbaits at St. Croix, uh, CJ says. Grouper and groper? I don't even know what that is, other than uh, someone not someone doing something that they shouldn't be doing. See, if we had flies, I would throw it out at this little fish right here. I don't know what it is. But there's something in the water right there. All right, let's go find some grouper, though. Oh, I'm thinking. This is my go-to grouper spot. Um, though I will say, check this out, check this out. So you can change the time in this game. It doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, and at, like, nighttime, the water, like, glows. Like, it's radioactive. And you can actually see through the water pretty well and, like, see the fish that are out there, which I think is kind of fun. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, I just thought I'd show you that because I thought it was pretty fun. 
Let's, uh, I'm actually gonna change it up though. We're gonna go, ooh, where was it? Where was it? Was it here? I can't remember. Was this the spot? I'm looking out into the deeps. We should see some giant grouper out there if we found the spot. I'm thinking those are grouper out there. Yeah, those are grouper. Look at them. Look at them all. Those big black uh, shapes out there. Those are... Oh, look at that dude. That's a grouper. Okay, let's throw this out. See what we catch. Good deal. Got our bait out there with our, you know, the hook and whatnot. Is fly fishing good in real life? I have a fly rod but never use it, dude. Fly fishing is one of my favorite things, honestly. It is just, it, it, it has a, a time and a place, I guess, right? If you're in an extremely wooded area and you haven't had a lot of practice with it, I'm sure it can be, oh, look at this dude. We just, <laughs> it just snuck up on us. I'm telling you, that's exactly what these guys do. That's exactly what they do. And then you just hold on as they just take you out. Look at that lionfish there. That was pretty cool. I assume, or it was a rooster fish. Alrighty. Alrighty. Taking line out. Okay, I see. Can you make a series or stream FS22? Well, you did have a series. I, I just haven't played it in a while. So maybe uh, maybe if I have time this weekend, I'll uh, I'll try to devote some time to uh, putting out some, some more farming simulator videos. Because I thought I had a pretty nice little farm I was putting together there. Uh, I had a bunch of sheep and was doing pretty well making clothing and whatnot. I was about to expand to more stuff, you see. Um, get a get a combine and, and do all that sort um, so maybe in the future kids When did you start this game? When did I start this game? Like 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 a level one, you know like playing it for the first time uh, that was back. Oh God two It was back 2021 gaming month 2021 first of all if you haven't seen all the gaming month videos just from 2021 and 2022, you need to go watch them. They are some of my favorite videos. Uh, they are absolutely hilarious. And I say that in a cringy way that I'm watching my own videos laughing at myself and I still think they're funny. Um, they're, they're hilarious. Um, some of my favorite videos on the channel. And if you haven't seen the Gaming Month videos, every January we play a handful of videos uh, during the month of January. You know, every video is a different game. Um, and it's because I bought a ton of videos or a ton of different games during the uh, during you know the holiday sales on Steam and whatnot. So we just play a ton of different games. And the whole idea is first off to have fun play different games but at the second you know to see if there's any games that you think look fun and then you can go out and uh you know play it yourself so i'd say you know check those out because they are they some of them are really fun got a new car i did yeah i remember that carl have you you told me that uh i'm not sure if it was last time or the last time you were here anyway yeah, you did say, and I think Zachary showed me a, uh, a picture of it, too, so that's awesome. That's really cool. I feel like uh, we might be in that scenario with my my wife here soon. We'll have to see. There's a one right there. He's bigger than this one. Oh, my God, that one next to him is giant. We're going to have to put a bigger hook on. We're using an ADOT right now, but we could go, we could go bigger, I think. All righty. Ooh, look at this dude 114 pounds so I will say the Goliath grouper are bigger than the Malabar grouper but the Malabar are very pretty they have kind of this snow camo going on um, but this is going to give us enough money to buy our fly line so that's cool let's see here level 14 sink tip or floating that is the question 
I honestly don't know what we're gonna be using, so. Maybe we'll just try. Honestly, I'm probably gonna end up buying both, but let's buy the floating kind right now. So I think that sounds fun. So this is a fly rod. Okay, I just wanna cast this to see what happens. So here we go. Oh God. Okay, so. That was it, huh? <laughs> Wasn't much of a uh, fly fishing sort of thing. Never done this before, so I really don't know what to expect. That old grouper didn't want didn't want this fly, that's for sure. I'm not sure what size of fly we're using either. We're using a five aught. pretty yummy, don't you think? Definitely gonna have to try this on some trout or something. This, uh, this fish, whatever he is, he is, uh, just not about it at the moment. I wonder if we can get a grouper to go for it, though. Does it say grouper on here? No? Any of these flies are for grouper? That, a, a grouper on a fly would be uh, interesting. Snapper. Honestly, this would be a pretty good lure. Or uh, that little fish that's right there. Is he going for it? Oh, I thought we were gonna get him there. All right, I'm done. I just wanted to give that a try. I'd never play. I'd never done fly fishing in a game before. I was kind of excited, but it was meh. It was all right. <laughs> gaming month is probably the best I've have seen from you personally. I love gaming month. Yeah, gaming month is a blast. All right, let's throw this back out there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wow, it still landed in the water. Gotta be joking me. Alright, we're gonna put on a larger hook. Putting on the 10 knot. Big fish or nothing. Big fish or die. There's gotta be a, a fish large enough for a 10 knot hook out here. All these giant shapes out here, there's gotta be one. All right, because my friends will ease your ride around the down and make vids. Ease ride around and down and the down and make vids. Okay, sounds cool. Slump is here, how's it going Slump? Inspired me to play Baron C. Yeah, Baron C is a fun game. I honestly just don't have enough time to uh, play all the games that I enjoy. Look at this dude. He's checking it. Checking it out. Giving it the old smell test. He likes it. He's getting it. All right, all right, all right. He's got it, he's got it on. Top notch. You should change your channel to BizHub for one day. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> That would be that would be pretty interesting. Maybe I'll change all the art or something like that to BizHub. All the channel arts and logos and whatnot. Even on a video, whatever video I put out there. Welcome to BizHub. You're going to go have fun. All right, go have fun, man. 
Yeah, the SUV, minus the cost to fill it, I'm just glad I can afford it, especially how it all went down. I agree. I agree. Couldn't agree more. Plus, it's easier to catch than a 55-pound sailfish, huh? Uh, well, I don't know. We never did get a marlin on again because we catch, uh, we kept hooking up sailfish and losing them one after another. Oh, what the frick? I went down the- Oh, you're doing us dirty. Come on now. Come on now. I swear with the, um... When we had the Goliath, uh... The Goliath, uh, grouper on... Um, he was- I feel like he was just the same amount of fight as, like, one of the Malabar grouper. But he weighed, like, 300 pounds. Versus, like, the hundred and some pounds that the Malabar weigh. So, I'm, I'm not really sure. Not really sure. I, I just haven't been able to find the Goliath grouper ever since then. I can't figure out where they are. I can't figure out where I found them the first time. It's really frustrating, to be honest. Which... Watch the videos. Well, right on, Mist... Mist Grain. Appreciate it. Or is it My Street Grain? The... Uh, Saint Grain? Oh, SGT, it could just stay, stand for all sorts of stuff. Dana Sherman's here, though. Hi, how's it going, Dana? What's the biggest fish you've caught in Kansas? Ooh, yeah, I'm not really sure how much it weighed is the problem. I caught a giant channel cat. It's actually a video that we have on the Modern Day Outdoorsman playthrough uh, playlist. But uh, I caught this ginormous channel cat, biggest channel cat I've ever caught in my life. Uh, I could fit my entire hand. Look at this dude. I can fit my entire hand in his mouth, which is something to be said when you're talking about a channel cat. Um, here we go. Got another one. All right, give him this another go here. Golly, how is he? Okay. We are just going to hold on at 71 and not move until he tuckers himself out. You beautiful person, great video, Tom Bird. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. My my mother says similar compliments. Maybe you are my mother in uh, uh, disguise. Beautiful person, goodness gracious. How how is it going? How's your night, Tom? You say it the first time. You said it. The, mist is it's okay. So it is mist. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. So I'm trying to stay up to date with all the cool what all the cool kids are doing these days. I should try fishing and see if these. Huh, I didn't I didn't realize that there was fishing in that. Oh, yeah, I guess so. We'll have to buy Sea of Thieves, deal with all the pirate stuff just so that I can go fishing. Kind of like um, Stranded Deep or whatever that game was that Zachary and I were playing. We did a lot of fishing in that game too, but people didn't enjoy that one. We thought it was pretty fun though. Finally finished organizing your saltwater gear for tomorrow. Trial Master, right on. That sounds awesome. I would love to be organizing some saltwater gear. That sounds fun. Wish I could be doing that. Finally got the 100 pound mirror carp and fishing plant. No way. Ooh. Sorry, yawning. Pixar didn't happen. That's all I'm saying. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> no, that, that sounds pretty amazing, though. Okay, this dude is taking us out quite a ways. We got him, though. All he needed was just, just a little cherry on top to show him that he didn't have the energy to keep going. Got him under 500 now. <laughs> BZ man, how are you doing today? Benny boy, doing quite well. How are you? What bait for carp do you use? In real life or in the in Fishing Planet? Or in Ultimate Fishing Simulator? There's so many options right now, I don't know which one. It's half 
2 a.m. Just going to sleep. Just had to catch a live stream. Hope you're okay. I'm doing quite well, Tom. Uh, yeah, goodness gracious. 2.30 in the morning for you. That's, that's ridiculous. That's crazy, man. That's like me. Uh, this morning, I had to take my parents to the, uh, to the airport, so I had to wake up at 3.30. Look at this old guy. This old guy. Got you, grouper. Oh, now he's pulling out line again. He says, second wind. Second wind. <laughs> oh, golly. Thought we had him. Thought we had him. In real life. Oh. I tell you what. <sighs> I've made many a video showing off the bait, making it and whatnot. I use a pack bait of, uh of uh, panko breadcrumbs, uh, jello, and uh, cream corn. And then I pack it onto a, a special lead. But yeah. 3.38 a.m. Oh, man. I know just how you feel right now. I did... I was up that... at that time uh, this, this morning. <laughs> As I just m mentioned. <laughs> I will say I was not chipper. I was rather tired. Oh, okay, tired is thinking about it. All right, you big grouper, get in here. I think after this, we really need to like go spotting for a Goliath grouper. Like he's so big that we just got him in. He was too big for the net. A new record, though, which is pretty fantastic. 223 pounds and that's 1289 XP 1132 dollars which is pretty sweet yeah that's awesome I'll take it I'll take it all day take it all day I'm, I'm selling this bad boy well that's awesome we just updated our uh, fish in the in the old trophy lodge oh thank you Carly Priv here in Kansas City, MO, it's 839. Sabrina Jackson with the sub. Thank you so much, Sabrina. It's, uh, it's just really bad that I can't tell which grouper these are. If I didn't know better, I'd say that was a Goliath grouper. What are you? No, it's a Malabar grouper. You think he notices me, or am I just so secretive he just doesn't notice a thing? Okay, I really want to catch one of these lionfish, and they're like right in front of us, so let's give it a shot. I'm not sure what size hook to use is the problem, but can we catch the lionfish on this? I think we can. Lionfish, lionfish, does whatever a lionfish does. Yes, lionfish, okay. So I'm thinking... What do you think? Like a one? Let's just do a one on. Ah, let's go to a, let's just do a straight one. A number one hook. Yeah, let's just do that. All right, lionfish. Prepare to be eaten. Or uh, whatever. Going over? Is there a fish going over to it? I thought I saw one going over to it. <laughs> what is my favorite game, BZ? Oh, golly. I'm not really sure. Favorite game of all... You know, I will say, I'm, I'm a big fan of the uh, Elder Scrolls and Fallout games. Um, and I've been having this itch of a feeling to uh, start a playthrough. There he is. There he is, bro. Look at him. Gotcha, gotcha.com. Gotcha, lionfish. Yeah, absolute monster. 0.46 pounds. In the bank. In the bank. That's what I'm talking about. And that's one less lionfish to worry about. Got him. Is that another one right there? He looks a little bit bigger. I thought that grouper was about to eat him. Let's 
slightly larger hook on there. Maybe we'll get a slightly larger lionfish. Lego. 1.40 p.m. Goodness gracious. What small pond, Iowan fish type should I go after tomorrow morning? Uh, with, with what? Just a bass rod? I, I guess I answered your question just by saying that. Maybe you should just go for a, uh, yeah, go for, go for a bass or something. I don't know. Go for whatever sounds fun. I don't know. Are there sturgeon in ponds? I don't think so. Tom Bird says, good night, Dave, take care. Oh, what do we got here? This is a new one. So a little mangrove snapper? I don't really know. Can't really tell by the way he's facing us. I think he is. It is a little mangrove snapper. Top notch, I was going for a lionfish, but. All right. Well, let's go for a barracuda. Let's mix it up. Let's go for a different fish altogether. Best way to level up to 50 from 40? Everyone knows this. You gotta do the sturgeon grind. It's the most boring part of Fishing Planet. Everybody knows. Yeah, it's unfortunately time to do the sturgeon grind. Like I mentioned, it's the most boring part of uh, Fishing Planet. Um, is getting to level 50. So, anyway, it was nice knowing you. Um, we'll all remember this day as the last day you had an interest in Fishing Planet. <laughs> No. Telling the farm white sturgeon. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Seemed like a pretty sarcastic remark telling him to, uh. Ooh. Alright, so this should sink, I would think, right? Yeah, it's. Nope, it's floating up, actually. Why are you floating? I thought I put the sinking line on. What the heck? Well, maybe someone will go for it. Come on, Barracuda. Really want to catch my first fish on this fly. Uh, no, I put the... Okay. Now we've got the sinking line. really sinking it's synced it's sunk two feet is all oh we got one barracuda Oh, there's a houndfish. Well, how about that? My first fish on a fly rod. It's a bit surprising that this hound, like this has to be a monstrous houndfish. Otherwise this, this, this line is like 56 pound line. How could it possibly be doing this much stress on it? That's what I'm wondering. It is a new record houndfish, but I did not expect it to be that hard. It was only five pounds. Well, top notch, 4.81 pound houndfish, everybody. That'll work. We got him. Okay, I, I just wanted to do that real quick. We do need to find the dang, like there's a barracuda right there. Why don't you go for the fly, you crazy? There are worse than the cons in California. 
There's fly fishing in that game. Oh gosh, makes me want to now get it. I know, right? Although I will say I wasn't impressed with that first little, uh, first little catch there. Makes me want to go to a trout area and try it there. Though I'm not sure if it would be that much different. Where are the Goliath groupers? Where are you? It's so terrible. I caught one in that video. And I just don't remember where we went. Ugh. Just throw this back on. So that's a... Okay, here we go. There were two Barracuda right there. Neither one of them was gonna go for it. What a freaking loser. Well, what in the world? I was so excited to try this out. What do we got? What do we got? Malabar or Goliath? What are you? More Malabars. They're all trying to get me now. Get out of here, Malabar. What are you guys? That's a streamer. This is a wet fly. Interlocking Cheerios. Oh, save that. You gotta sell that on eBay. How are all these fish getting so afraid of a fly dropping down? It's like the least scary thing. It, it weighs like nothing. Come on, fish. It's a ginormous mangrove snapper right there. Oh, he literally took a look at it and just turned around. Ugh, okay. I'm ready to go back to the grouper already. <laughs> God dang it. Freaking fish. Trent Boggs gotta go. Hey, take care, Trent. All right. Going back to the big fish. There are oh, the, the freaking thread fish right there. There's a bunch of thread fish. Ugh. Well, now I want to go back to this. Which one of these was really good for threadfish? This one's good for threadfish. Let's try it out. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Alright, threadfish. Come on now. Feel, feel the fly. Oh, he just literally swam by it. What the heck? That is a big one right there. BZ. <laughs> Joshua, very, very serious. Very serious. That's the adult, the adult version. Come on. There's some nice threadfish right there. They're just not going for it. Got one underneath us. Maybe we need to switch to a one that sinks or something. I don't know. Uh, 
Have a good night, Clipes, Clipes and stuff. All right, see you later. The fishing hole would once add it would make a game a lot better. Yeah, well, you would certainly, you would certainly think. I could see how like the animation for a fly rod uh, could be difficult to uh, figure out, but. Yeah, it would just add a really cool aspect to the game, I would think, anyway. Wanna play Fishing Planet BZ? Nope, I wanna play Ultimate Fishing Simulator for another uh, 37 minutes. There's some grouper way out there. I don't know what type of grouper they are, though. Guess there's one way to find out. So, we will find out. Squish! Squish is in the house. How's it going, Squish? This is fun. Carly Proof is here, too. Did she leave? I didn't see a, didn't see a thing for it. If she did. Gotta go, everyone. You have an MRI for your wrist. Oh, no. What'd you do? Do you land on it weird? When fly fishing, I weighed one of my flies, and it weighed point zero 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 one repeating, of course, ounces. I know, right? I know, right? I mean, later, yes. I do want to play Fishing Planet later. Like, tomorrow, I plan on playing it. We might, uh... <clears throat> big, uh, big, uh, hint for, uh, those of you who are here, all 41 of you. Um, you know, <clears throat> might be, uh, doing some, uh, African fishing of, of, of some sort. But we'll, uh, we'll just have to see. Hey, I get the animation would be hard, but I've been playing Fishing Planet for so long now. Bait and spinning getting a bit boring now. I know, right? I know. So if if the fish, if there's no fish around you that are big enough for the hook that you're using, eventually a, uh, a little thing will pop up telling you so. But so far, nothing. So far, nothing uh, saying anything. <sighs> fishing Planet versus Ultimate Fishing. Are you, okay, there there it is. Your hook size doesn't match the size of fish out here. There's a fish right there, though. What sort of fish? I think that's a, uh, dare I say, I think that's a goliath grouper. I think there's goliath groupers out here. I'm a little surprised that there's not anything big enough for this hook, though. Let's try out here, I guess. I don't know. Well, yeah, this looks familiar. Well, that's another Malabar. What the heck? Where are the freaking Goliath groupers? Where are we on the map right now? We are... We over here? I feel like we're over here. I feel like we could come over here in a boat. Don't you think? Let's do that. Let's get in this boat and then we'll just... We'll just drive on over to that. dots over here. That's a grouper. They don't look very big though. Oh, there's some big... Okay, so there's some grouper right there boat doesn't turn very fast, that's for sure. Well, that is a Malabar. 
I'm specifically looking for the Goliath group. Those are some big threadfish out here. There's some big dots. More Malabar. We're not going to catch any giant fish unless it's the Goliath. Got a dang blister walking around today just in time to wander around the zoo tomorrow. Ugh. The heck. What about the Amazonian maze? No, no Amazonian maze yet. Just, uh, the other one. Catching anything? Absolutely. We're catching so many fish. We're getting specific now. We're just trying to catch specific types of fish. These are all Malabar grouper, and I'm looking for a Goliath grouper. I want the big ones. Oh, that's a little bigger. Can't tell which type of fish they are. It'd also be nice to see a black tip shark. I haven't seen those yet either. A big dot. Just cruising around in a boat right now. Now nah, let's just catch a fish. I'm thinking like one more grouper. Ah, they're more Malabar groupers. Gosh dang it. Palm of your hand and not feel the fly is there. No, no thoughts. Head empty. No, no thoughts. <laughs> what? So fishing planet versus ultimate fishing. Which is your favorite fishing? Ab absolutely fishing planet. Hands down. Now, is this game fun for certain reasons? Is it is it kind of arcade-like and gives you a, a, a game to fish for uh, saltwater fish and whatnot? Heck yeah, it is. Can you uh, can you go catch a bunch of uh, mai mai and uh, tuna and marlin and stuff like that in uh, Fishing Planet? No, no, you cannot. So uh, so if you want to spend a couple bucks and buy uh, buy this game and give it a shot, then go ahead. Fishing Planet Mobile versus Ultimate Fishing Mobile, which is better? I didn't even know they had an Ultimate Fishing Mobile, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, just knowing how old, uh, Fishing Planet is. Here's the, here's the big thing that annoys me with Fishing Planet. If you throw out your rods in a rod holder, um, eventually, uh, someone calls you, you get a text message, um, someone walks in and says your name, so you close out of your phone real quick and say hi to them. By doing that, it logs you out of the game or disconnects you. And so, you... Any rods you had set up get taken away, and then you have to put them back out again. And I'm just thinking, like, seriously, like, if you were ever to get to level 50 or whatever at Weeping Willows, and say you get there and you go ahead and you do the 10 spots of freaking carp feed and then you throw out one rod and you throw out two rods and you throw out three rods and then someone goes hey Bo I'm ready come on in and then you're like ah why did I do all that work because now I'm gonna have to close my phone and disconnect and then all of that work throwing out that spod and throwing out all those rods is for nothing because it's just going to throw all them back and I'm going to have to do it all over again. And so until they fix that, I honestly see Fishing Planet uh, Mobile as unplayable. It's a broken game. I mean, yes, you can do everything but that. But in my mind, I just think, why would I want to... Why would I want to keep playing a game knowing that the end of the game is going to be like that? You know? Keep 
wondering where the big fish are. Pretty good size for that. All right, I think I'm, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty similar. All right, I'm done with this area. Let's, uh, let's move back, go somewhere else. Ultimate Fishing Mobile is worse because they banned it three or four years ago. I mean, yeah, I mean, sounds about right. I will say the company behind Ultimate Fishing, like, they make a mobile game of pretty much every game that they come out with. Like, they eventually make a mobile game of it. So I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to, what to think about it. I haven't been here yet. That could be interesting. I'm not sure how big the Greenland Shark are. Well, we could give it a shot. I'm game. We have uh, 26 minutes to uh, to use up. Ultimate Fishing Mobile has a glitch where you get infinite money and infinite gear. Also, you can't set up more than one rod at a time. You can only use rod in your hand. Huh, interesting. Not sure if you remember me. Hi, Elliot. How's it going? Elliot Martin. How's it going? We got a big fish out behind us here. So where are we fishing? We are fishing off the backside. Okay. Let's just toss out a rod here. I'm not sure. Greenland shark. It does say Greenland shark on it. This is a 10 knot hook. Let's equip a 9 knot hook and throw it out and just see what we catch. This might not be uh, good for anything. But we'll give it a go. First... If we catch a fish here, this will be our first fish we've caught in the Greenland DLC. Because I, I have honestly not even been here yet. And I was going to avoid it. But uh, technically I said that we would be fishing saltwater in this live stream. And this is still saltwater. So. so it's not like I'm not following the rules that I laid out. I'm following the rules. Taven Sates is here. How's it going? How are you, Bo? <sighs> you know how it is. So, if Fishing Planet is a better game, why are you playing this game? Because, as I've stated a few times, you cannot catch saltwater fish like Mai Mai and Tuna and Greenland sharks, and goblin sharks, and marlins, uh, and sailfish in Fishing Planet. Like this cod here. This cod is not in Fishing Planet. But, thanks to Ultimate Fishing, we just caught one. Or at least, uh, he's hooked up. I'm just kinda surprised he went after a 9 knot hook. Must be a pretty good sized cod. I love cod though, so I would be pretty ecstatic about this fish. Thinking about all the different ways I'm gonna cook up a cod this size. Oh my god, did you see that shark underneath him? He was massive! He was huge! Oh my god! <laughs> no! That just gave me the heebie jeebies, dude. Oh my god, I could not imagine swimming in this water. No way. Oh, ooh. Oh my god, that shark was ginormous. Look at him! Look at him! He's right there! Oh my god, he's huge! Oh my god. I'm not about sharks like that. Um, yeah. Nope. Nope. Haha. <laughs> Haha. No way, bro. No way. For as if it was better than Fish Man, then you said a word about it since Mark. Uh, Russian fishing is a great game, and in many ways, it is better than Fishing Planet. Um, what I will say about Russian fishing, if you ever want to become a content creator and make videos, uh, Russian fishing is a horrible game to make videos for. Um, not only do, like, not a lot of people watch the videos, but the game is extremely, like, it's very difficult. Um, and, and it takes a long time. Like, it's like actually fishing, you know? 
And so it's like, do I want to spend two hours trying to catch a big fish? Or do I just want to play Fishing Planet for two hours and catch a ton of fish and actually have a video to make? Um, and I have talked with the developers at Russian Fishing multiple times, telling them, hey, if you made the game easier so that it didn't take three hours to catch a good sized fish, you would have more people playing, you'd have more content creators making videos for your game, and because of that, you'd have more people playing. It's an endless circle. You have more people playing, more content creators, and then because of the content creators, you have more people playing, you'd make more money. And, and they go, nope, that's just not how we designed the game. We wanted it to be a very realistic fishing experience. And it's like, seriously though, if I want a realistic fishing experience, I'll just go actually fish. <laughs> yeah. I, if I'm playing a game, I want it to be fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but you're missing the point. Um, so, that's how I feel about that. But otherwise, I think Russian Fishing is a great game. And I really enjoy it. Um, it just takes too long. It just takes too long. To do anything. Rant over, that's just about it. Then for you, the fish catch is the end game no matter the game. The fish catch is the end game no matter the game. I'll tell you what it is. Ugh, the videos. The videos is the end game. The videos is the end game. <clears throat> for you, that doesn't mean anything. But for me, if I can make a video catching saltwater fish, anyone playing Fishing Planet, content creator or uh, you know player alike, they can't catch those fish. So, you know... Who, who just made videos that no one else is making? Moi. You know, that's that's the life of a content creator, I guess. <laughs> doing, doing what everyone else is not doing. There's a giant shark out there, though. Let's see if he goes for a 10 knot hook. Might have to go even higher up. He just cast it 105 feet out, and that did not seem very far at all. D12 Crazy, how's it going? Rizzy hasn't been here in A's. I agree. Sp is it Spasic or Spazic? What's up? How's it going? The exact second you see the shark, dang it. Well, what's the deal, Squish? It scared me, though. That's That shark is uh, it's got me uh, rethinking. Rethinking Greenland. Why am I here? Can you bring back Bassmaster Fishing? No. I, d I really just didn't enjoy that game. I, I was kind of contracted to not say too many, like, I was contracted to say, to be realistic, but to not damage the game upon release, essentially. So I could give an honest review saying, hey, you know, this is pretty, it's a pretty good game. Um, you know, I think it's fun. But it's not like I could just come out and say, Hey, I hate this game. Don't buy it. It's not worth it. Because um, that would have been damaging to the release. Um, but, but yeah. Um, I really didn't enjoy Bassmaster that much. I think if you really enjoy catching bass, it's probably a great game. Um, I'm just not one of those people. So to me, it was kind of meh. I don't know why you'd make a game all about catching one type of fish. That sounds super boring. <laughs> Um, there were other fish in it, don't get me wrong, but that wasn't the whole point. I mean, the other fish in the game were essentially to, uh, to catch and, uh, make fishing, uh, the bass harder, essentially. Alright, I'm wondering if I should reel in or leave it out further. Let's go ahead and reel it in. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll toot along in this boat a little bit. There's evidently trolling in this boat, according to uh, what the DLC said, which is kind of interesting. This gal is dying life because you're only catching tuna while trying to catch literally every other... I know. That's exactly what was happening. Alright. Warbling Wyvern. My goodness gracious. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So that shark... Which way did he go? That shark is way off to the right now. Oh my god, there's there's two big sharks. Alright, let's try this. We'll find out if a 10-odd is too small for him or if we need something bigger.
I should probably throw some live bait on here too. I bet they'd like that more. Let's see. Let's see here. Greenland shark, goblin shark. Yeah, we should probably. Uh, actually, let's look and see. This this small cut bait might not even be good enough for the Greenland shark. Greenland cod. Greenland shark, goblin shark. Okay. Well, it does say they'd go for it. Might not be their favorite. Muscle Man Ray's here. How's it going, Muscle Man Ray? Goodness gracious, haven't seen you in a while. You haven't been able to make it through the streams, Dana Sherman says. Hey, no big deal, Dana. We appreciate you being here whenever you can make it. Okay, the pressure's getting to me. I want to switch it out. I want to switch it out with the live bait. Something's swimming there. It's a shark! It's a shark! It's a goblin shark, I think. That's a shark. It's a shark. Okay, come on, 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 come on. Switch it out, switch it out. Switch it out, switch it out. Bop, 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 bop. All right, shark. Shark, 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 shark. Oh my God, it's huge. It's like Jaws. This is so big. Oh my God. <laughs> I swear, every time I say it, Every time I say it, it just like you just see a little flash of it and then it's gone. If you're not paying attention, you're probably not seeing it. I I think I see him way out there. Way way out there. There is a small that one looks like a small goblin shark right there. I wonder if he'll come and grab it. Oh, we got one on! We got one on! <gasps> it's a Greenland shark! Oh my god. Okay, he is taking us out to 200 now. Cranking up the drag, we're at 71, which is usually our fighting, fighting uh, drag, since we can't make it to 86 most of the time. Yep. All right, he's taking us out to 300 now. Tucking him out? Oh, I thought we had him. I thought we had him turn in there. Oh, oh, we got him. <gasps> Dude, our first Greenland shark. We got him on the on the ropes. Let's go. He's a small one, but he went for the 10 knot hook. I, I'm curious what's small. When I say small, like how small is he gonna be? Is he gonna be like 150 pounds small, or is he gonna be like 60 pounds small? <laughs> you know, oh, dude, oh my god! Did you see that shark underneath? Oh my god, this is like a baby. This is a baby compared to that shark that just went underneath. Oh my god, the shark out here are ginormous. Oh, they're huge. Oh, I need much better equipment, I feel. Oh, that was a goblin that just went under. He was a bit longer than this one, too. Come in here, you. Come in here, you. That, there we go. 276 pounds, everybody. 6.58 feet long Greenland shark. Ah, ah, all I can say, dude, that was insane. I honestly didn't expect to catch one. I expected to just like, uh, to get one on and it just
take us all the way out and lose it. But there we go. Our first Greenland shark. 1,562 experience. I think I'll just let him go and get an extra 300 experience. Because we, uh, we, we, we seriously need better gear. Just going off the size of the sharks. Dude, there are such large sharks behind us. I feel like putting on a huge hook just so that we can see how big of sharks there are. Let's, uh, let's find the biggest hook we can. That one goes up to 11 aught. Six aught uh, there. Six aught, uh, one aught. Uh, eight aught, uh, okay, so there's 11 aught uh, there. There's 12 aught, uh, okay. Let's put this on, 12 aught uh, hook. Um, I'm gonna throw on an extra bait too. Woo, make it really good looking. Uh, but I honestly don't have better equipment. The next uh, the next line that we can get, like my rod is at 90.4 pounds. The reel is at 68.6 uh, pounds. And then the line is at 56 pounds. So like, it's not really gonna help us to get stronger reels because the line is what's the weakest link right now. And the next line we can get is at 17, I believe. Or it goes up to 71 pounds, which is actually a pretty nice upgrade. But yeah, we still need to level up three more times, so. Got a while. We got a while to go. I wish they would literally die if they came to third. I just finished watching one of your Fishing Planet videos trying to learn how to play. Hey, it's well, it's a great game. Um, and I've certainly got enough videos over it. Wyvern, you're, you're, you're in for a treat. Watch the... Uh, I mean, if you need to learn something specific, obviously look that video up. Otherwise, I, I just recommend just watching the whole beginner series from start to end. Um, I, I, I like to say that I take like two hours. Oh my God, look at this shark. That is a goblin shark right there. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we're throwing out. Let's just toss out. Gotta get a bigger shark. Dude, that's so cool. So cool. See what see what we get. Missing pretty much the whole story. Hey, not a big deal, Dallas Fisher. But like I was saying, Wyvern, I take like two hours of you playing the game and I condense it into like a 20 minute video. Um, a lot of people say that they play the game and then they like watch the video at the same time, which I also recommend. I think that's a good way to do it. That way you're kind of doing the same thing at the same time and you don't <gasps> goblin shark goblin shark on okay I have a very big feeling that this dude is just gonna take us all the way out and break us off because he is absolutely massive look at the size of this guy I mean he's slapping the camera he's so big oh we have a we have a visitor outside Oslo, give me a second, buddy. I think this fish is gonna break us off in like 30 seconds, and then and then I'll invite you inside. I'm trying. Chonky Shark. After the part you're here for, Dallas. Ain't gonna be sad, that's exactly right. Forgot all the hook sizing knowledge I'd gained for my fishing planet. <laughs> what were you thinking? You can't lose that knowledge, Squish. Dude, yeah, he's he's gone. He's gone, though. There's uh, 800 feet right here. We've only got. Yep, yeah, he's broken us off right now. Yeah. It's fun to see that big of a fish, though. Goodness gracious, he was a monster. Goblin shark. Oh, uh, and the Greenland shark. Look at the look at the size of that guy. He's got to be 10 feet long, 12 feet long. He's gone now. <laughs> the moment I say, look at him, and then he, he submerges himself, and then we can't see him anymore. Well, time to just jump over the side, I guess. It's completely safe out here. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> Oh God, I think he's a smaller one. He was like eight feet long. Goodness gracious. 
This, this Greenland DLC is hilarious. I'm having a blast with all these shark going around. All right, let's go back. We have seven minutes, seven minutes, okay. I think I can tough it out. Well, actually, I don't know, let's see. Let's see here. Who do we got at the door? That's what I'm curious about. Ugh. Ghost. Not even there anymore. The freaking ding dong ditch of all dogs. My dog is just leading me on a wild hunt for nothing. All right, so let's back it up. Okay, so we're looking out in front of us actually. So there's a sailfish. Looking for a marlin. Pretty good sized fish behind us though. Let's uh, change this out. Can't change it right now, evidently. Okay, we're specifically looking for a marlin. We should see them. Oh, there's a sailfish. The sailfish continue to break us off, so... We need to look for a marlin, specifically. Someone had mentioned it, something about it. Ding dong ditch dog, I agree. Marlin get up to a thousand pounds. I, I know this, but at the same time... Someone had made a reference to it before. But the marlin were part of the base game. Whereas the sailfish are a DLC fish. So part of me wonders if the sailfish are harder than the marlin. Oh, that's a big dot. Oh, there's two big dots over there. You see that out in front of us? There's two ginormous dots. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think we got two marlin behind us. Oh, wow, right there, right there. That's a marlin. <gasps> There's two of them. I knew it. I knew it too. Okay, okay. They're gonna find the bait. I wonder if they're too big for this bait that I threw out there. Oh my God, we caught a small fish. Just kidding. It's the bait. Haha, <laughs> got ya, didn't I? Oh, <sighs> me, Rocco. I changed my name because it started. Well, very cool. Sounds good, Rocco. Saw your catfish video earlier, and then the same day I caught a 20 pound flathead. Well, right on, Wanaka. That's awesome. Went fishing in that day, too. Well, sweet. So, I'd love the fishing plan of bids. Well, right on, Kane's Fishing. Appreciate it. Hopefully they're helpful, you know? That's the whole goal, anyway. Yeah, we're not getting attention at all. So I did one time hook a marlin on a 9 odd, but I do have written down that they like 10 odds. So, I have a feeling, uh, I was really hoping we would hook up a, a marlin on the 9 odd, But let's give the 10 odd a try, I guess. I have a feeling that if we get one on the 10 knot, we're gonna lose it, but... That is the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. So they kind of went off... Oh god, it's right behind us. I don't see it anywhere. It was on the radar. Barrel. 
try trolling for my- I, I wish I could, Jared. Um, there's unfortunately no trolling in the game. Uh, or at least here, anyway. There, supposedly there's trolling on the Greenland map. <gasps> I just saw something. Just to the left of it. Ooh, look at him. Look at him. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. <laughs> what a giant fish. He doesn't seem to be interested in my bait whatsoever, though. You're late. What's happened to Albert? We're, we're trying to catch a marlin at the moment. My hook doesn't match anything. Well, if my hook doesn't match those marlin, then those marlin are way too big for us. Unfortunately. All right. Well, shoot. Well, shoot. Let's just throw on this bad boy. I was having fun with him anyway. What do we got? What do we got? Got some fish behind us. Last cast of the stream. Let's see if we get anything. Oh, there's a Mai. There's a Mai. Come on, Mai. I even sunk it down further. Oh, is he coming? Come on, Mai. Is he coming for it? Oh, he looked like he was going for it for a second. Those Mai are really deep. Okay. It says our hook is too big. Man, we need to go down a hook side. And also let it sink to like 20. All right. All right. You don't play you don't play games so you didn't know hey that's all right Jared and a rod stands for trolling you cannot move your boat while there was I uh, yeah I know I know what you mean man pretty silly isn't it but you can use your trolling motor I I showed how to how to troll in that one video Maybe that I maybe I just need to make that a video how to troll in fishing planet. I showed how to do it in the one musky fishing video. This dude just rising up on top water now. Goodness gracious. All right, everyone. Well, we yeah, we gave it a shot. We gave it a shot. I had a good time today. We caught all sorts of stuff. Well, we caught a Greenland shark. We got to go check that guy out in the trophy lodge. Let's go look at him real quick. Super late. Super late. I agree. Where the heck have you been? We've been worried sick. We've got a... There's actually a cod in here, too, somewhere. Where's the cod? Oh, he's way over there. Oh, look at that, that Greenland shark. Look at him! Look at him! He's beautiful! He actually looks very happy to see us. His mouth is like, Hi, buddy. Hope you find your dad. It's kind of the look he's giving us. Do, 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 do. But here is our beautiful cod, 49 pounds, that we caught as well, so top notch. 
big old Greenland shark, 276 pounds, and a cod of 49 pounds. <laughs> Pretty uh, comparable. Anyway, hopefully this was all uh, fun, change of pace. We're going to be playing Fishing Planet tomorrow in the afternoon. I'm sorry, I don't have an exact time yet, but I assume around 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, um, 2.30 or something like that. We'll just have to see. But uh, hopefully uh, people can make it. We're going to be, as I said before, actually, you know, I'm going to keep it a mystery. If you weren't here an hour ago when I told you where we were going, then uh, yeah, it'll just be a surprise for you. That's what you get for not being here the whole time. <laughs> that was me. Anyway, Amagus is here. How's it going? Uh, I'm glad it tells you when the hook is not sized correctly. Yeah, it is very helpful. I agree. You were only here for seven minutes. Almost caught a Kansas City State record freshwater drum, but it broke the line when I was lifting it out of the water. It was 40 pounds. I completely, uh, yeah, no, probably 60 pounds. Yeah, totally. I always love it when you, uh, when people guess the size of the fish when they don't have it in their hands. Anyway, we'll see you everyone uh, tomorrow. Uh, that's it. Ciao. As Squish says, absolutely. Eric Hill just barely made it. Well, I appreciate it. If you haven't hit the like button, then you know what to do. Come on now. You're part of the BZ Hub. You know, hit the like button. All that sort of stuff. Have a good day, night, whatever. Yeah, have a good night, day, morning. Menor day. Yeah. That was an attempt at combining all of them. That was stupid. Anyway. See you uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Otherwise, see you on Monday for another BZ Up video. And uh, yeah, take care. And as always, everyone, remember. Plan anymore.